Hey guys, welcome to your 13th OAuth tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can retrieve users from our database. So then, in the last video we went ahead and created a new user record and saved that to our database. And the problem with this was, if we logged in twice, it just created two records and we didn't want that. So what we'd like to do is when a user logs in a second time, we want to perform a check on our database. We want to see if that user already has been to us before and we have their Google profile ID stored. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete one of these bad boys. So we only have one record for me, for my profile inside this database. I'm just going to refresh because it doesn't seem to have updated. Okay, let's just delete that again. Okay, there we go. We only have one record inside this collection now for me, which is good. So now when I log in a second time, so if I go back over here, if I log in here a second time, what I'd like to do before I create a new user, I'd like to perform a check to say, okay, well, I've got their profile information and I'm going to take their Google ID. Now what I'm going to do is search my database, MongoDB, to see if a user exists with that Google ID. If it does, I'm just going to retrieve that record from MongoDB. If it doesn't, then yeah, go ahead and create a new one because that person obviously hasn't been to us before. So let's first of all get rid of this junk up here. We don't really need to log these to the console anymore. So, and we'll get rid of that comment. And the first thing I want to do is check if user already exists in our database. Okay, so how are we gonna do that? Well, I said we could use the user model to interact with our collection. We did that in the last tutorial by saying, okay, I wanna save a user. This time I wanna search for a user. So again, we're gonna use this user model and we're gonna use a method called find one, okay? So this is gonna allow us to find one record inside our database based on certain criteria. And the criteria we want to base it on, we pass through here in an object. Now we want to look for the Google ID property stored in our database. So that's what we pass through as the property we want to look for. And we want to see if it matches the profile ID that comes back from Google. So I can say profile.id. All right. So this again is an asynchronous task, much like this down here, this save function. So it takes some time to do and returns a promise, which means we can tack on dot then, which will take a callback function that will fire when this has completed. So when it's performed this search, after that's completed, it will fire this callback function. And if it finds this record that matches the Google ID, then it's gonna return that to us inside this callback function. So we called this one down here, new user, but if it's found one in our database already, then we'll call this one current user because they already exist. They've been to us before. So I'll say current user is retrieved from the database. Okay. So down here, if current user, and I'll explain this in a minute, we're going to do something. So this right here, if it finds the record and it returns it to us, then this right here is going to be an object. It's going to be that record. And it's also going to be a truthy value, if you like. Okay, so this will equate to true and it means we already have a user. So I'll just pop a comment here saying already have the user. If it doesn't find this and it says, okay, I can't find a profile inside your user collection, which matches this profile ID returned to us from Google, then it returns something to us, but it's not that record and it evaluates as false. So this will fail. Therefore, we can assume if it fails, then we don't have that user, right? So we can say an else statement. If we don't have that user, then we'll do something else. We'll create a new user. So we'll say, if not, create user in our DB. So we're performing a check here to see if that user already exists. So at this point right here, we can be pretty sure that that user has not been to us before. Therefore, we want to take their information and save it to the database. So we can grab all this junk that we created in the last tutorial and just paste it all right there. So we're creating that new user and saving it if we can't already find one in our database that matches that Google ID. Hope this makes sense. 
if we do find one in the database that matches that Google ID, it's going to return it to us and we have access to that profile. So I'll log that to the console. I'll say console.log and I'll say user is and then we'll tack on the current user. Like so. All right. So either way, at this point, once this has all finished here, either way, we have a record, either a current user, if they've already been to us before, or a new user, right? So by the end of this callback function, we have a user ready and available to us. So let's give this a whirl. Let's save it now. And let me try logging in using Google Plus again. So remember, we already have one record. So right now, because I've already created a record and I've logged in before, then when it performs this check, hopefully it will find my profile in MongoDB and come back and say, hey, we have a current user. Therefore, we'll just log that user to the console and we don't need to create a new one. All right. So let's save it and go to login with Google Plus. Going to kind of hang there again. But if we go over here now and refresh, then hopefully there will still only be one record. Nope, we have two. That's strange. So let's just take a look inside here. And we can see user is this. So it shouldn't have saved that. So else, I've definitely saved this. Okay, let's just delete these again and try it again. Because it could just be that this didn't pick up the uh, the changes. So I'll delete both of them, in fact, and start again. So we have no records whatsoever. Now let's log in with Google. So the first time around, we should create a new record. So let's refresh over here. And we get that record. Cool, there's one at the minute. Now, if I stop this process, go to the home page, then I'll go to login again and try logging in again this time. If I refresh over here, fingers crossed now, there will not be two records. Cool. Now there's only one record. So it's obviously just an issue with it didn't pick up the, the save changes. OK, so if we now view our console, we can see that the new user was created the first time around we logged in when there wasn't already a record in the database. The next time around, it says the user is and it retrieves that instead of creating a new one. OK, so the record we created right here, it retrieved the second time around. And you can tell that because the IDs are the same. Starts with 5.9, ends in F8. Starts with 5.9, ends in F8. All right. So there we go. That's how we perform a check to see if the user has been to us before and how we distinguish new users from existing users. So in the next video, we're going to move on and I'm going to explain the next step that we need to take in this authentication process.